Let's see. If I'm here, then that means... Wait, what does that mean? The Fate Maker begins to wonder. With the world torn in two, can balance ever be restored? Is it enough to defeat evil? Or must it be destroyed entirely? Maker, you are nearing the former ocean's edge, but what was once sea level is now a towering cliff. You'll need to find a way up. Your scales are positively glowing. So you're sticking with her in this pathetic quest, are you? Fine. I know what it's like to have your fate chosen for you. But I'm owning this villain thing, okay? World's <laughs> not gonna cover itself in darkness, you know? You come across a mysterious relic, and it is just giving off super magic vibes. Oh, you know I want to touch that. The light! I'm alive! Oh, wait. Hmm. All right, halfway there at least. But you freed me, adventurer. Thank you. Always nice to meet a friendly see-through face. What's your name? I had a name long ago. But now they just call me the Wastard. Sorry, what's a Wastard? Oh, you know, a real son of a witch. Get it? We Wastards are rare, powerful magic users. I'm a necromancer, but when I refuse to do that Dragon Lord's bidding, he ripped my soul out of my body and stuffed it into this relic. Dick move, right? Total dick move. You know, I'm actually headed toward the big evil pyramid to give that Dragon Lord the old one, too. Great. We're going the same way. Look, I need to give my body back. If you help me, I'll give you a powerful tool against the Dragon Lord. Here, a live demonstration. Well, a half-life. This guy's just the only way up, but it's protected by a barrier hex. Luckily, hexes are sort of my thing. See? Not a problem. I'd love to know how to do that. I can show you how to dispel hexes once I have my body back. Now we gotta climb these cliffs. Road trip! What was that? Where are you? Hey, hey, relax. I'm just hitching a ride. Mobility is not a ghost strong suit. Ever wonder why they always stick around in gloomy ass houses? It's not for the decor. I would just like to highlight that I'm not putting up a fight about trusting this necromancer. Hey, that's character growth, baby. Totally unrelated. Newbie, there's something called a reverse exorcism, where you trap someone's soul in your own body and then explode, sending you both to hell, in case you need some leverage. Oh yeah, that's real. Messy stuff. Happened to my buddy Connor at a birthday party. What am I looking at here? Just a standard elevator that's also a skeleton. A skeleton. Cool, right? Desiccated it myself. Got a little penthouse and stall. That jaw's gonna take it up. Let me see if I can still magic it down in this form. Rocket Naria! 
Classic case of lockjaw. Gotta be here for a bit. Keep my friends busy. Uh, just to be clear, they're not my friends. I was just trying to sound cool. Man, it's weird how every character you meet around here is a lonely failure oh, fighting for oh. air in this ocean of desperation. Like, Flotsam. Or Jetsam. Or whichever. Maybe it's something about you that attracts losers. Or maybe it's the only type she knows how to write. Two bullets and a mag. Two things and one other thing.
about it. place to bury me loot is. Thank <laughs> you. 
know what else to tell you. My stuff. Look at all this mining equipment. What is the Dragon Lord doing here? Oh, you've probably seen those crystals around. Quartz naturally absorbs soul energy, even sucks it right out of the ground. The Dragon Lord's been using his armies to mine it out, but then he ordered me to start turning living people into undead workers. Man, I refuse. And now look at me. I mean, yeah, okay, it sounds bad when he says it, but the guy's body is crazy full of power. He wasn't even using it. You snooze, you get your soul ripped out of your body and thrown in the ocean, as the saying goes. storage area is somewhere in this mining camp.
wound up. I haven't seen them up here in eons. If we had what I'm gonna call a religious disagreement. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about heroes, and, and to be fair, most of it's coming from other necromancers. But I'm starting to see why you guys have the reputation you do. <laughs> was incredible. I saw so many familiar faces. Obviously, I left as soon as I could.
So none of the relics are good enough? None of the relics you can see, Wink. Did you mean to say Wink? Yes, that was for newbie's benefit. Atina does her own closed captions. Just need to 
channel this thing's energy into the drop. I've got an arcane focus out in front. Head over there. Energy, you need more than one person channeling it, or the effects could be catastrophic. Say it with me. Ragu Barata Mesto! Ragu Barata Pesto! Ragu Barata Pesto! Ragu Barata Pesto! and badasses for a while? Yeah, but I always just killed people and took their stuff. Fred, how many parties have you gotten kicked out of? Not counting this one. All of them. Sure, I've got plenty, but I could always have more. Welcome to my bachelor pad. Nice, as far as our size skulls go. The Wastard's body floats above an obvious boss arena. Somebody looking at us. I'll bite him.
nose is always stuffy anyway. Can hardly breathe. Sucks. Okay, he's out of there. Quit the violence. It's premium merchandise. side of the deal. Here, follow me. I can give you the ability to dispel the Dragon Lord's barrier hexes, but there is a cost. A cost to your soul. I swore off the use of necromancy for evil, so I want your permission before doing this. Oh, yeah. Our souls, though. Do we need that for anything? Eh, minor stuff. Soul magic, true love, death. Nothing important, then. Seems fair. You are cordially invited to do weird stuff to my soul. So be it. True love. Oh, am I kidding? <laughs> I found dozens. <laughs> Here. Your powers won't be as potent as mine, so you'll need to use a dispel room. Like this one over here. Give it a shot. That way will take you across the desert. You'll find the Dragon Lord's Pyramid in the center of a dead city known as Ashuko. Thank you for returning my body to me, hero. I have unfinished business here, so I can only wish you good luck on your quest. You're gonna need it. The parched waste stretch out before you. You can feel the land itself thirsting beneath your boots. Tread carefully, Saint Hunter. Oh, and I've got one more thing if you're up for it. <laughs> 